Do you know how to connect your motor when you see 230 slash 400 volts on the nameplate? Should it be a star or delta connection? Getting this wrong can lead to overheating, costly repairs or even burning out your motor completely. In this video we will show you how to read these numbers and how to identify the right connection for your motor. Let's get started. Welcome to today's lesson on how to read a three-phase induction motor nameplate. Knowing what's on the nameplate is important for installing, operating and maintaining the motor correctly. As shown on the slide, we'll cover key information like voltage, current, power and protection levels. This will help you choose the right motor for your needs and solve any problems that come up. The first parameter on the nameplate is voltage. This indicates the electrical potential that the motor is designed to operate at. For a three-phase induction motor, you will typically see two voltage ratings like 230 slash 400 volts or 400 slash 690 volts. The first number refers to the voltage if the motor is connected in a delta configuration and the second number refers to the voltage if it is connected in a star configuration. It's important to match the motor's voltage rating with the supply voltage to ensure efficient operation and to avoid damaging the motor. Let's look at this motor's nameplate. Here we see the voltage ratings listed as 23400 volts. This indicates that for the motor to operate correctly on a 400 volts supply, it must be connected in a star configuration. In a star connection, each winding of the motor is connected in such a way that the endpoints of the windings labeled as W, 2, U, 2 and V2 are joined together to form a common star point. The other ends of the windings are connected to the supply phases L1, L2 and L3. The key point here is that the rated voltage of a single winding is 230 volts. Therefore, by connecting the windings in a star configuration, the voltage across each winding remains 230 volts, even though the supply voltage is 400 volts. The relationship between the line voltage and phase voltage is critical in a star connection. The line voltage UL is equal to the square root of 3 times the phase voltage UW. Similarly, the line current IL equals the phase current IW. This ensures that each winding receives the correct voltage, preventing overloading and ensuring efficient operation. In the previous slide, we discussed the star connection. Now let's explore the delta connection and how it compares to the star configuration. Looking at this motor nameplate, we see the voltage ratings listed as 400, 600 and 90 volts. This indicates that the motor must be connected in a delta configuration when operating on a 400 volt supply. Unlike the star configuration where the voltage across each winding is reduced, in the delta configuration, each winding is directly exposed to the full line voltage. In a delta connection, the windings are connected end to end in a closed loop, with each corner of the delta connected to one of the three phases, L1, L2 and L3. This means that each winding experiences the full line voltage which in this case is 400 volts. In delta, the line voltage UL is equal to the phase voltage UW. However, unlike in the star connection, 
the line current IL is higher than the phase current IW by a factor of the square root of 3. The image on the right shows the actual motor terminal box, which contains six terminals corresponding to the ends of the three windings. U, 1, V1, W1 for one end, U2, V2, W2 for the other end. In this example, the motor is in a star configuration. The connectors link U2, V2 and W2 together forming the star point while U1, V1 and W1 are connected to the three-phase power supply. The image on the right shows the actual motor terminal box, where the windings are connected in a delta configuration. The connections in the terminal box correspond to the delta connection shown in the schematic. You can see that U1 is connected to W2, V1 is connected to U2, W1 is connected to V2. These connections ensure that each motor winding is exposed to the full line voltage, allowing the motor to operate at its full power capacity. Okay, that's all for this lesson. When connecting a three-phase motor, pay attention to whether it's a star or delta connection. In the next lesson, we will continue analyzing the motor's nameplate.